If we are to hold a, an international summit to look at artificial intelligence and its safety and its future in the um, wake of the launch of chat GPT, the AI large language model, um, then I think we ought to also be thinking about uh, international summits to look at the future of migration and uh, the, um, the way refugees should approach countries for support and help and whether or not there's any time limit on that and um, whether or not there's any quota that a country can or should impose. Um, how exactly do we, do, we, do we monitor and what is the best practice for um, welcoming refugees into our country and into other countries? Uh, Britain cannot go it alone on this in the same way as Britain cannot go it alone when looking at artificial intelligence. More than that, Unless all countries are represented in a summit on artificial intelligence, it's simply a word game and, uh, and, and, and a lot of um, uh, positive affirmation, but there's no, uh, there's no commitment to uh, the speed with which progress advances uh, and um, bad players will be around and cannot be castigated, cannot be held to um, account. There are a number of instances where we should be leading international debate rather than going it alone. Migration is one. Artificial intelligence is another. Uh, the future of healthcare, I think, is a third. Uh, I think we've got to a point where we simply cannot just rely on the national health, the national health is falling to pieces. We need to look at um, some sort of federation of healthcare. Maybe that is our way forward. But uh, unless we can think in a broader sense, post-Brexit, the Brexit experience will be as useless as it seems to have been over the last six years. It's not about, uh, quote, controlling our borders. It's not about shoring up our defences. It's about finding a better way to collaborate and to progress internationally. And if that isn't uh, something Rishi Sunak can advance, uh, then he is failing in his mission. It certainly wasn't something Boris was um, able to deliver uh, but I think that's probably something about what Boris had in mind when he promised to, quote, deliver Brexit. The problem with Boris is he was his own worst enemy and ours.